What's up everyone? This is Fitness 2.0. We're talking about real life superhero suits where you can be the hero. These high tech EMS suits are rewriting the training playbook, allowing everyday individuals to tap into the secrets of elite training without subjecting themselves to extreme physical demands or high amounts of stress. We're talking the results that include a dramatic improvement to body composition, and we have studies we're gonna talk about where people have increased their vertical jump by as much as 25% in 10 weeks. That's like not being able to touch the rim to dunking within a couple months. All right guys, it's Jason, I'm back again, and today we're gonna to be diving into the world of EMS training and how it's enhancing the performance you know, without breaking any of the rules. Now to review, EMS or electromuscle stimulation is a technology used in suits like what we're talking about today that delivers electric impulses to your muscles, causing them to contract and engage more powerful than they can on their own. EMS training can activate up to 90% of your muscles simultaneously compared to you know, about 30% in traditional workouts. Sounds futuristic, I know, but the studies back it up. That's what we're gonna talk about today. It all comes down to application, so let's get into it. So EMS has actually been around for more than 60 years. Uh, you see, in the more recent time, it's it's been typically tapped into more by athletes or select individuals. And now EMS has become a lot more easily accessible to everyday people like you and me and how we can just enhance our training or get more out of our time. So EMS is being used to create more explosive power. You're able to engage and recruit more of your muscle fibers, uh, increased muscle strength. A lot of studies show the improvement in muscle strength and endurance, and then also the selective muscle targeting. So the unique thing with EMS is that you can simultaneously target multiple muscle groups, and you can choose select areas to focus on that maybe have muscle imbalances or weaknesses. Or So there have been more than 200 studies on EMS and athletics. So I'm just gonna point out a few of them that stood out to me. You know, we talked about that vertical jump increase of 25%. So this was a study that was published in the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research. It was a 10 week study where subjects were training with EMS for as little as 15 to 30 minutes, two to three times per week. So really? And another similar study found some similar findings. Uh, it, this one was published in the International Journal of Sports Medicine and this showed that there was a 14% increase. This was multiple users in as little as four weeks were able to increase their vertical jump. And why they were looking for vertical jump is because of the carryover of type two muscle fibers and that explosiveness. If you can recruit more muscle fibers, that has carryover to sprinting, running, jumping, weightlifting, and all things physical fitness. And it's not just jumping. Another really cool study published in PLAS One found that participants that underwent 30 minute EMS sessions three times a week for a total of eight weeks led to significant improvements in maximal strength and endurance of leg and trunk muscles. Additionally, testosterone and growth hormone levels increase after the EMS training period, indicating potential hormonal adaptations that could contribute to muscle growth and recovery in athletes. The magic lies in EMS's ability to target deep muscle fibers that might not get fully activated during traditional workouts. By engaging these muscles, EMS triggers a systemic response leading to enhanced hormone production. So whether you are a professional athlete or you are just getting back into the fitness game, you can see why so many people are taking advantage of EMS as a tool for a lot of the reasons like time efficiency where you're able to do these 20 to 30 minute sessions where you can simultaneously work so much of your body, you can go in and focus on specific groups all while being low impact. You also have the injury prevention component. By going in and fixing weak muscles, you're able to balance areas out, you know, from one side to another and you can find out where your body's been compensating. And these are all low impact modalities, so it's a great way to get somebody you know from from point zero to, to one or two and continue to 
you know, elevate um, as they get back into better shape. And then it's really great what you can do by enhancing your strength and muscle endurance. So with EMS, depending on the frequency and the power settings that you're using, you're able to target type one and type two muscle fibers. So type two fast twitch being the explosive muscles that you're using for like squatting and jumping and sprinting. But then we have our type one muscle fibers. Think of like higher repetition and endurance, things that you're doing for more cardio type of work. So by being able to target both of those, you're getting a lot of cardiovascular benefits and overall athletic benefits that carry over for all kinds of functions with life. So what can you take from these studies? I hope that it sparks your interest and you can look into it. You know, remember that all EMS is not created equal. It's important that it's being conducted, you know, by a professional that is guiding you. Application matters, um, but it's a great place to, you know, to, to look into if you're looking for a low impact, pain-free type of option. And I'm confident that you're gonna see a lot more of EMS in the future, people taking advantage of it, uh, depending on whatever level they're at to be able to get them you know, back in their game and keep on progressing. So I hope this information was helpful. Uh, if you liked it, please give us a like, follow along, subscribe, and come back if we can be a resource in any way. Thanks for watching.